Hey guys, um, so I wanted to talk a bit about um, some of the medication that I take and what I discovered today. Um, this past week, or actually a few weeks, I've been having a lot of problems with um, my blood pressure being really, really low. Um, and then with the added problem of having the concussion, which added on more nausea than I usually get anyway, um, and migraines and headaches, um, I was having a really hard time eating and drinking enough, especially drinking enough. And so I've been feeling really faint and really dizzy and just pot syndrome, um, really bad. Um, with quite a bit of tachycardia thrown in just because they don't treat that part of it for me. So, um, this morning I wasn't feeling great. This afternoon I wasn't feeling great. And when I went to take my pills, I actually went to pay attention to what I took. And I realized that I never took my Florinef today. Um, I usually take two or three doses of it. Um, more recently, just two doses because things were okay. Um, so all I had on board was the Mardodrine, which, you know, works, but apparently not as well without the Florinef. Um, I had actually wondered in the last little while how effective the Florinef and the Mardodrine were working for me just because I'd had such um, low blood pressures. And now knowing that I didn't take it today and how I felt and looking at the numbers on the um, on the BP machine, I realized that um, the Flornet really does do something, even if it doesn't always feel like it. Um, so imagine without anything in me, it would be, you know, ten times worse. Um, it doesn't help that some of the other medication I take also cause low blood pressure and uh, dry mouth and dizziness and fatigue and everything else, so it's really hard to tell um, sometimes what's made worse by what, you know, is it the ANS or, you know, and the transverse myelitis or is it the medication that's treating the other parts of the spinal cord injury uh, residuals from the transverse myelitis or, you know, what, so I thought I would um, show you the meds that I do take right now. And so I have them in this empty little um, bowl right now. It's an actual, like, you know, those bowls they give you in the hospital to puke in. It's never been used for that. It's actually clean. Um, I just, working in a hospital, you end up pilfering things that you can use for a later date. And this actually probably came home with me after a hospitalization at some point. So, um, I have a number of medications that I take for um, bowel and bladder, um, and some of those are suppositories every morning because my bowel doesn't work at all, it's paralyzed. Um, it works, but really, 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 really slowly. Um, so, nothing really goes fast. Um, I also take Seneca. Um, Colace, which lately is kind of crazy to take because I've had lots of diarrhea, but whatever. I bounce between the two, so whether I take it or not, get it or not. Um, and because I have a spastic neurogenic bladder, I take oxybutynin, um, the extended release once a day so that I don't have accidents. Um, not that it doesn't happen, it does happen anyway. And for days where I get really, really constipated, I have black chillers. Really big bottle, I realized. The pharmacy, when I called to get my prescription for it, they were like, oh, would you like one bottle? And I was thinking, you know, those like, smaller size bottles that are like, you know, yay big and, you know, like cough syrup sized. I thought that's what they meant. <laughs> no, they sent that thing. That's like, you know, almost, it's almost a liter? No. I don't know. Yeah, it is a liter. It's a liter, which is almost, I guess, in the States, like, what, a pint, roughly? Or 
I don't know what you guys use. We use the metric system, sorry. It's a liter, anyway. And because I have a neurogenic and spastic bladder, I also use catheters um, every four hours or more frequently if I drink coffee or soda or, oops, just dropped my clothes, or, you know, whatever. Or if I have a UTI or whatever. Um, for spasms, because I get spasms in my legs and in my back and my stomach muscles, um, I have Xanaflex, Xanadine, Jeanette, um, which causes really low BPs as well and fatigue. So when I first took it, I didn't realize how bad it would be. I was going on a um, kayak day trip, not even a full day of it, but you just go kayaking for a day when I was in rehab. And I was feeling really, really bad on the bus there. And when I finally got to the rehab center, I just had to lie down and the, um, the physio that was with me, she just looked at me and she's like, you're really pale, you're sweaty, you're not, you know, and it's July, so it's hot and sweaty, but still it was worse. So she took my blood pressure and it was super low. They were really, they didn't know what it was, they didn't know why. It wasn't the first time I'd had this, but it was the first time it had been that bad. Um, anyway, so I felt okay within an hour and we went and I had a great day and it was fine. Um, but it was only maybe a few days later that I realized it was from this medication. Um, so that's why it took about three weeks to get up to the full dose that I was on. Right now I'm on a pretty high dosage, um, but it works, so whatever. I also take Baclofen. I've been on this since day one of being paralyzed and spasms showing up. Um, the max dose is like 100 or 120 milligrams. I'm on 100 already, so. Can't go much higher than that. Um, for nerve pain, of which I have, I am on Lyrica, two different doses. So this one is um, 300 milligrams, I take it at night. This one is 150, I take it in the morning, as well as a low dose uh, tricyclic antidepressant Elevil, which I take for nerve pain. It works. It works better at night. It also helps you feel sleepier, although really sleepy enough sometimes. I also have my drink for the blood pressure. Florina, same thing. It's actually in the fridge. This is just like an empty one, so I wouldn't forget that I took it. And because my mood has been kind of iffy the last six months with hurting my back and my job ending and needing to find another nursing job, which is not easy when you're disabled. I've been on Celexa and Remeron, so these two, which are um, antidepressants, and I'm actually gone down on my dosage by half already. I'm going down on it slowly because I was trying to get off some of the medications that um, caused me to gain a lot of weight. Unfortunately, Lyrica is one of them, but I've been on Lyrica for six years out of the eight or five years, um, and it never caused me weight gain until now, so I don't think that was the culprit. I think it was more just my depression, depression pills, and not moving as much because my back was killing me all the time from the TM and I have slip discs and arthritis in my head. So between all that, really, it's no wonder my mood was a little, like more than a little down. For the back, I've been on Flexeril and I lauded uh, PRN. Um, I don't have to take it every day now. For the first two weeks, I was on both of them every day around the clock because it was just that bad. So it's not so bad now. And for my stomach, because I have really, really bad GERD, um, probably related to, uh, to POTS and to TM and to my gut not working well, um, and my Nexium. It works, although, again, last night I 
didn't eat anything that would really cause me to have problems and I ended up waking up at like 2 o'clock in the morning, um, you know, with acid reflux and I was throwing up and I really had to sit, I had to take like two tums and sit up for a while. And for migraines, I have Maxalt, which is something new that I'm trying. Um, I was on rel packs before, which worked okay, but anyway, I'm trying this one to see what works better. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much the tour of my medication. And yeah, so you know, apart from that, my weekend was really great. Um, today I was really, really, really tired, but that's because yesterday I went to a birthday party that only started at 8 p.m. I got home around midnight, 12.30ish, I went to bed when I got home, so yeah, I, went to, I guess I went to bed around 12.30, I woke up at 2, um, and then I woke up again, it was like 7.30, and it's like my body goes, oh yeah, time to wake up at 7.30, even though there's no alarm set, and I don't need to wake up that early, um, but I did, so I went back to sleep till about 9. <laughs> And I woke up and the cat was staring at me like, get out of bed. My bed. She takes over my bed in the daytime and if I'm still in it past like, you know, eight, she gets, you know, annoyed. Um, so, yeah, it was a good party. It was fun. And really um, low key, just some good finger foods and, you know, wine, beer, um, and good friends. Um, and I didn't actually drink because of the concussion and the way I was feeling. I didn't think adding alcohol on board was probably a good idea. Not that I ever drink much anyway. I usually only have like one beer or a glass of wine. Um, given all the medication I take, I can't really mix them. So, you know, I ended up just drinking water and stuff, which was, which was fine. Um, kind of sucks though when everybody's having a glass of wine or beer around you and you're the only one not drinking. Um, and, you know, whatever, so, <laughs> it's life. Um, once this concussion clears up, I'll be able to, you know, have a drink with my friends and, you know, not feel sort of, kind of, out of it. Um, I also wanted to show you um, something that I've been doing the last couple of weeks. Um, I've been making, and I made one of these for my friend. I'll probably add a picture of the one I made for her, but I've been making these. The pendants. And if you can see that. Oops, sorry. It's a tree of life. I make them with different type of beads, different colors, different whatever. And I make jewelry for fun. Um, I also sell it. Um, and I'm not plugging to be selling anything, I'm just saying what I do in my um, spare time for fun. Um, I find it relaxing, and with the concussion I've had, I haven't been able to do a whole lot the last week, although I've managed to make a, um, one similar to that, different colors, um, for my friend's birthday, um, which was nice. Um, and, oh yeah, I was at the, where is it here? When I was at the hospital for the CT scan this past week, I was in the gift shop killing time, because I have like an hour to kill. And I found this pendant on a chain, and it's got butterflies and a big pink crystal. And anybody who knows me knows I love pink, and I love butterflies. Um, if you've seen the video of my brace, you've seen there's butterflies all over it, so I love that. And so I got that to go with the dress I wore to this party, which is white with butterflies on it. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture of it. Um, I got it at Old Navy, and my mom got it for me for Valentine's Day, which is cool. So, uh, it was fun. And so that was my weekend, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, and I'm praying for you, Nina, as always. I really hope that you're feeling okay, um, this week, and I hope that you're finally able to get your medications into you and sleep. Uh, Millie, as usual, hi. Um, good luck.